the Duke of Sussex, 37, and wife Meghan, 40, stepped back from royal family life in March 2020, relocating to Montecito, California. They have scarcely returned to London since their dramatic departure, carving out their new life with their two children across the pond. But the Duke and Duchess returned to the UK earlier this month for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. But Prince Harry's popularity has taken a hit in the UK since he left the country, Britain's told express.co.uk. Civil servant George, 29, from Dagenham, likened the Duke to a friend who gets into a relationship, and, they just f asterisk off, adding, everyone knows someone who's done that. He continued, it's turning your back on your family in a way, and you've got to stick with your family. He said that, you can't help who you fall in love with, and he has a right to go out with whoever he wants, but, Harry and Meghan, I think they've gone a bit over the top. George, talking to express.co.uk in Whitechapel, said it looked as if Harry had thrown his life away. He said, he was really liked by people, he had the army stuff, and he was really out there with people. He added, he's chucked all of that in the bin over, essentially, a bird. He then quipped, he's like the king of, I've got someone, see you later, I'm off. Just days before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their hotly anticipated comeback, the pollster YouGov revealed their popularity had hit record lows with the UK public. The poll showed that almost two-thirds of Britons held a negative perception of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Less than one in three respondents held a positive view of Prince Harry, with 58% thinking of him negatively. Less than one in four of those asked looked on Meghan favourably and 63% held a negative perception of the Duchess. A poll conducted by Techni UK for Express.co.uk last month showed that just 16% of Britons held a favourable view of Meghan. But 71% held negative sentiments towards the Duchess. Prince Harry received the approval of one-third of the British public, whereas 56% did not see him positively.